lost my brother when I was 13. And ever since then, I didn't talk to nobody. I didn't know how to control my anger issues. In trouble at home, family problem. Not only here at school I need help, but even outside of school. Almost 100% of the students have experienced some type of trauma. Every instance of violence in this community impacts our students. I witnessed a lot of gang activities. When I was a freshman going here, I got shot in my ankle. Some guys came through in the car. They threw down some gang signs, and they started shooting. I was about 11. We was out sitting on my grandma's porch, and somebody came through the gangway and shot my cousin. Where I live, I don't like it. I want to be able to help these young people have skills to really be successful in life. I would say there are about three central challenges that my students come to me with. In so many words, you know, the stories are saying, I need someone to accept me for myself. I need you to help me figure out who I am and then also help me to learn how to navigate relationships with other people. My dad passed away when I was six years old. I lived in the same house, but then again, we had to go house to house sometimes. We're seeing teenagers who essentially are trying to figure it out, but also figuring it out with these challenges of, you know, how am I going to get home safely today? Or will I have enough money to make it to school tomorrow? So I got into an argument with my dad, and he asked me to leave last night. There are just so many challenges that come with being in an impoverished neighborhood. About six years ago, we started working intensively in schools, placing our first social worker in a high school on the west side of Chicago, really looking to help support students who were struggling in school, but everyone had a vision for them, and that vision was for them to be successful, and we knew we were going to have to come together to support them. Overall, last year, we served 54,000 students through all of our work in 125 schools, connecting them to a wide array of community partners that could bring resources and programming into their school buildings. Is that our kids come to us not focused, not ready to be able to engage in day-to-day -day activities. It means that they come in without sleep. They come in hungry. They come in afraid. They come in agitated. And so, again, you can't have a strong academic culture without having a very solid social and emotional culture as well. The way that you are socially and your ability to navigate your emotions is very central to who we all are. We can never take for granted that those two components of everyone as human beings are not important. They are in fact what we lean on the most in life. Teaching young people how to navigate through the world, how to handle themselves, how to bring a person out into the world who is not shunned or looked at to be a burden on society, but a contributor. And that's what social emotional learning does for people. It helps us all. Communities and schools have really filled in the gap in terms of exposure to things that, that are happening throughout the city, to additional wraparound service within the context of an additional social worker. Those are things that, for this particular demographic, are, are so key. Because if we're expecting our kids to be able to compete, we have to have those outlets to have someone on staff that really focuses solely on that work, I think is huge. We're looking to grow this program and we're ready to add schools. There's a lot of need out there. There are principals that are, you know, excited about the possibility of getting these supports in their building and, and we're ready. We're here full-time, 
to be in the trenches with these kids every single day. Well, Miss Holly is like a second mom to me. If I didn't have Miss Holly in my life, I would have dropped out of school. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. She just brightens my day every time. Because she always have a smile on her face. Because I was going to drop out my freshman year, but she helped me make it through freshman year. And that's all I really needed. Miss Holly is my second mama. Communities and schools being here in one year, we've had the highest ACT scores in the school's history. I mean, this school's been around for 75 years. The highest attendance rate in one year, we ended the year at 87% of our kids come into school every day and on time. The teachers have another thought partner with communities and schools. To be able to come to someone that has the expertise to give us extra resources and strategies on, on how to meet the needs of our kids that come to us every day with you know, repeat exposure to trauma, which is very difficult. And so Communities and Schools has really been an amazing partner. It is an incredible opportunity to change the lives of students that I think are the forgotten. We saw it here within our own school.